the laws of God given to us, they are meant to guide us. They are meant to help us to live the fullness of life. They are not meant to delimit our life. In fact, laws are not delimiting life. They are meant to help us to live our life in such a way that we can live in harmony. And so, it is important for us, uh, for us to really uh, see the wisdom of the law. So, it's not, it's not a question of blindly obeying the laws. So, can you see the wisdom? So, those of us, we uh, disagree with the church's laws or church's doctrine. Before you disagree, do you understand what is the foundation, the purpose of the moral teaching of the church? Do you understand where the church is coming from? Can you see the, the validity and the benefits and the wisdom of what the church is saying? So it's not a question of I agree or don't disagree. Understanding the law is important. Which means to say, no Catholic therefore should just obey the law blindly. No, Nowadays we are all educated. You can read, you can try to understand why is the church teaching this law? You can disagree. But you need to find out before you disagree. Why is the church teaching certain things? If you understand, then of course you can accept it, you can embrace it. So our task is whatever difficulties you have with the church's law, the first thing is not to oppose. The first thing is try to understand. That is why in the church's teaching, uh, we make it clear, huh? uh, whatever the church teaches, the first thing we have to do is what we call religious submission. That means will and intellect. Huh? Your will and intellect, I surrender. That means I will try to put my mind and my will according to the mind and the will of the church. That means you try to understand where the church is coming from. Then after that, you can make your own assessment. And so Jesus precisely today in the gospel tells us that all laws are meant to give life. And so, uh, that's why he said, I've come not to abolish the law, i come to fulfill. So, it is love, it is wisdom, it is understanding that makes the law what we call in our favour. So, don't ever think laws are against us. If laws are against us, basically because of what? Selfishness. Because it goes against our selfish interests. If you really want to help people to be happy, then we need to not just only punish. Punishment doesn't help. It's prevention. Prevention. Preemptive measure. So let us therefore uh, ask the Lord to help us uh, to purify uh, that love for Him and for others.